Hey y'all, Creative Chica here, aka Tony, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all. So I thought I would share with y'all uh, some of this stuff I bought over a month ago, but you know what's been going on, so I had to postpone my videos for about a month, basically. So anyway, I want to show y'all what I bought. <clears throat> now, I found these uh, they're called Crafter Square Decor, and they're the little gnomes, and they got the little red hats on them. I thought they were really cute. Now, these are like little picks, like you can like put them in the tree or whatever you want to do. Or, I'm thinking if you wanted to make like little um, ornaments, just cut the stick off there. You can cut the stick off and put like a little uh, hook in there. That would be cute. So, I bought this set, and then I bought the gray set. And then I bought this set. It's got uh, the green um, hat and the red hat. So I bought all three of those to put in my Christmas giveaway. And um, I'm not sure whenever I'm going to do the Christmas giveaway. I don't know whether to do it before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving. I'm thinking probably after Thanksgiving and then I can get it off to y'all. You could use it. So that would probably be better. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway. I'll show you what else I got. And I don't know if the lighting's good in here or not, but whenever I put that ring light on, it's like, whoo, it's too bright. So anyway, I found these cards, and these are like, uh, I'm making them into thank you cards for everybody who has sent me something in honor of my son who passed away on October the 7th. And I thought these was just really pretty to get, and they're perfect. So I picked up, I picked up about four packs and that's okay for me, you know, like, I'm sure that I will probably use them up. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so the next thing I found was this cute little gingy girl. She's so cute. I did not find the boy one, but I found the boy one at Walmart. And I'm thinking he was 98 cents, but I don't remember, guys, so don't quote me, okay? But I got her, and um, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I did, I do have another set put away in my Christmas stuff, so I don't know, but she was too cute to pass up, and she's adorable. Look at that little face, so cute. So I picked her up, and then um, I also got some washi tape, which, oh, uh, do I really need washi tape? But I can't pass it up, right? And these have the little bows on them, so I thought those was really cute. So I picked that up, and then I picked this one up. It's got, like, the little hearts. And it has a, like a little jar that says love and little presents. And it's more for Valentine's Day. So anyway, I thought it was cute. Um, I'm thinking that I need to dig in my um, washi tape and put out some stuff. Put it in the drawer for Happy Meal. I, I have so much uh, washi tape. I will never use all that washi tape, guys. So I will probably put it in some Happy Meal. Or I might be doing like a giveaway. I was thinking I might even do like a sticker giveaway and put some washi tape in there. I think that would be a wonderful idea because I have so many stickers, guys. I'm never going to use all those stickers. Never. Anyway, so I picked up this little uh, coffee cup, the gnome. It says gnome for the holidays. I thought it was stinking cute. And I like drinking my coffee out of these. And... Um, that's about it, really. Coffee. Sometimes I'll put some water in there, but other than that. So I found this one. I had to get it. I had to get it for a dollar. I said, yes. And then I got the Chris, uh, the Christmas tree. Well, it does have Christmas trees. The red truck. Isn't that pretty? It's so bright and just the little red trucks. And it says, um, cut your own trees. That's cute. Anyway. So I got that, you know, just, and I, I know that I have another plastic coffee cup down there. So, you know, I'm going to have plenty of coffee cups this, this year for sure. But I just love both of those. So I picked them up. I picked this up. This one is a little container. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to use it in my craft room. I don't know yet. But anyway, it says Christmas with my Nomies. And it was the last one there. And I took some pictures of them. Um... So anyway, I thought it was cute, and I don't know, I may use it here in my kitchen for something, I don't know yet, but for a dollar, I said, I'm going to get that one, just that one, okay? Goodness knows, I don't need any more containers, guys, I really don't. Let me get some more stuff down here. Okay, 
Um, I picked this up from my hubs, okay? This one is the Reese's Potato Chips Big Cup. Reese's Milk Chocolate and Peanut Butter Stuffed with Potato Chips. Now, um, as I told y'all, I'm trying to cut back on my sugar, but I did have one of these the other day. Oopsie. Because I just had to try it, and it was pretty good. It wasn't bad at all. So I picked this up for my hubs to try and see what he thinks of it. He's going to say, what? But, you know, I picked that up. A dollar, a dollar for one. That's not a good deal, guys. That is not a good deal. No. Okay. So I did find these. I thought they were cute. They're a little truck. They're a tray. But they're a truck tray. The uh, Buffalo Check. And um, I'm keeping one for myself. And I'm going to put one in my Christmas giveaway. So I'm going to lay this right here. So I will remember to put it in the bag with the Christmas giveaway. But isn't that cute? Now, I have several trays. Maybe I just need to put them out in my craft room during the that certain holiday because I have one for Halloween. I have, now I have one for Christmas. I probably have one for Valentine's Day. You know, whenever I'm doing the chunky chains and maybe, you know, put my little dangles on here whenever I make them. But it was too cute to pass up and I, I've only seen them at that one store. I've been to several Dollar Trees and I have not seen them anymore. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh. So, um, I have, I have like so much Dollar Tree stuff, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's pathetic. It's pathetic, but, uh, this was one of my wish list items. Cute little gnome cup. I bought three of them because I buy things in threes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the little whip, whipped cream on the top. You know, um, if you watch The Rose Life, she's really into making the whipped topping and stuff. And I've learned a lot since I first watched her and first and since I first tried it. So anyway, but you, you cut out a little piece of cardboard, kind of, you know, decent, de decent thickness. You don't want something real, real thin, but you want it to just lay on top of here. You don't have to stuff this or anything. And then you take a styrofoam ball, very important, cut it in half and put it on top, glue it on top of the cardboard, and then you take your caulk and go around it and make the whipped topping. Because if you don't do that, it's going to flatten. I've had several that flatten, and I said, what am I gonna do? I can always make a new one, but I don't know. I kinda like them that way. <laughs> but I'm gonna try this and um, with the styrofoam ball, and it will make, it make it look like it's you know tall. It won't sink down on you, okay? So I got three of those cups. I will probably put them on my tier tray, my three tier trays in my craft room. But, um, you know, I will show y'all after I do it. Oh, I got this. Thought it was cute. And it says, there's no place like known for the holidays. I bought that to put in my Christmas giveaway because I thought it was stinking cute. So I picked that up. Hang on, I got to get some more stuff down here. Back. <laughs> Okay, so um, I went down to my Dollar Tree because um, I said, I don't know if they have these or not, but I took a, I went ahead and took a risk to go down there. <laughs> it's not a risk. It's about three miles away, guys. But I was like having my fingers crossed that they had these. So these, these are the little um, Christmas DIY ornaments. And um, so while I'm doing this, this is for North Carolina Mountain Mama. Now, I might as well just do a little VR for her. She's having a birthday giveaway. You make her a ornament. I mean, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like this. You can make her an ornament uh, for her Christmas tree. And also she is asking for an ATC card. She wants to start learning how to make ATC cards, which, you know, to me, they're so simple. I trace mine out on a playing card and just glue it down. So to me, that's just simple. Some people have like the little die cuts like Kathy's favorite thing, she has a little die cut. And I wish that I had ordered that whenever I was doing the BB crafts. I think it's BB crafts, but I never did. But if I do do BB crafts again, maybe I'll order that one. So anyway, so you make her a, a, a little Christmas bulb. And I believe uh, it ends November the 30th. It's North Carolina Mountain Mama. Go check her out. Her name is Stephanie. I absolutely adore her. She is like so down to earth just and i love it that she lives up there in the mountains she lives up there in this in the mountains and uh, i love the mountains you know my husband and i we both love the mountains up there and um she lives in a beautiful area up there 
and she is so blessed to live up there. Except I'm a little bit afraid in the wintertime, you know what I'm saying? Like going down those mountains, you know, this, I don't know, Stephanie, I don't know how you do it. Anyway, so I'm going to make her something special and send this off to her and join her little, um, her little challenge. And um, I will link her challenge video in the description box below. Go check her out, guys. Okay, so I did buy three of those because I buy things in threes, guys, because three is my lucky number, and I just feel like, you know, buy things in threes. So I bought extra, I bought two, I bought two more of these just to have on hand, just in case maybe I want to make something for somebody and send it to them. Um, I, I don't know yet, but I've never really made anything out of those. I also bought two things of snow. This is a faux snow. And I, I bought those, um, 1.48 ounce, so it's by Crafter Square. So I thought, well, I'll just have this on hand just in case I might want to use it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but we'll see. Okay. Then, I was walking along, and it, I mean, I said, what is this? So, um, this is, uh, Crazy for Catnip, Mad Cat, Crazy for Catnip. It's got catnip. Don't, I don't understand catnip. All y'all who have cats probably do. I have creamsicle, my stray cat, but, you know, I don't give him toys or anything like that or catnip either, but I do feed him daily. Um, they have these down there, and it's a catnip filler. Really? How do you feel the, how do you feel it? I have no idea. Anyway, so this one's got like, oh, it says catnip silver vine filled. Okay, so um, I bought this one. It's got it's a little hot sauce. Isn't that cute? And then it comes with a fish taco. These are separate though; they're a dollar a piece. I said, "Aren't those adorable?" So that one's a fish, uh, fish one, a taco. So I bought two for me because I don't know. I just love tacos. I love anything that's Mexican or whatever. I mean, my hu husband is Mexican American, and I love him. So. Um, and we love anything that has to do with Mexico and all that. So I thought that was stinking cute because it's so cute. So I picked up those two for me. And then I picked up these two to give away. Um, I'm really not sure. You know, maybe I'll do another cat giveaway. Or I may just put this into some Happy Meal. Because I have somebody in mind for it. So I might do that. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. That's my, that's, that's my idea. Okay, so I did pick up, and you all have been bragging about this, breakfast blueberry biscuits. Okay, take it. These do have carbs, but every once in a while you can have some. <laughs> yeah, 17.5 carbs. Oh, right. But, I mean, you know, you can have them every once in a while. From what I understand, these are really good, and you can taste the blueberries in them. So, I mean, like, I am not on a keto diet, per se. I am eating some keto foods, but I am trying to lay off the breads and the french fries and stuff like that, you know, and candy and stuff like that. So, I, I'm, and for a very long time, I did not eat any breads, any sweets, anything like that. And I did uh, lose weight, and I got down to almost where I was going to. But then, you know, life happens, and huh, then I gained some weight back, but I do plan to lose that weight so I can wear my clothes again because, you know, I like my jeans that I bought. They're really cute, and I want to be able to wear that size again. They're a little bit snug on me now, okay? They're, they're snug where, you know, I really can't close the zipper, but I'm going to get back to it. I am. Yes, ma'am. So, anyway, I picked those up just, uh, just to have. Uh, I wanted to try them. Exactly. That's what I want to do. Okay. So I saw Twisted Gypsy, and she bought these. They're the, the uh, Maddie, Maddie Kay's Salsa Almonds, two ounces at Dollar Tree. So I picked up four of these. No, maybe I picked up five. These are really good because one day I was in there watching TV at night, and I said, oh, I really would like to have something, but no chips, guys. I'm laying off those chips, those Lay's chips. Nope, no more no more chips like that for me. Anyway, so um, one of these bags have 170 calories. And um, I don't know about, I don't know. 
Oh, total carbs is five gram, which I guess that's not too, too bad. So I do have some of those I picked up. And I picked this up to do a project with. I picked it up just in case I don't have this color. I probably do because I have so much yarn in there, guys, that I'm probably going to start giving some away in Happy Mail <laughs> or maybe like a little giveaway because I have too much. And I really, um, you know, because like being a hauler, you just buy stuff sometimes and you think you need it and then you don't need it. But it's best to give than to receive, right? So um, I will be giving back to y'all uh, definitely. So um, this is the Just Chanel, and it is the color, hmm. what is the color? I know it's a light pink. I don't know. Does it say? It doesn't say. Pink. It just says it's pink. So anyway, I thought that was pretty. I, I picked that up. And um, let me get a couple more things, and that'll be all with this Dollar Tree. Okay, so, um, you know, sometimes you just want something a little bit salty, and chips are not that great for y'all. <laughs> Definitely not for me, because, you know, but I mean, they're good and everything, but, you know, they're not healthy, and you will gain some weight if you start eating chips. So, um, there for the longest time, I didn't eat chips, and then I started eating chips again, and I said, that's not a good idea. So, uh, I bought, and my husband and I both, we like this, it's the uh, Brim's Barbecue Flavored Pork Rinds. And these are fried, but hey, it's better than chips, I do believe. So I got this flavor here, the barbecue, and then I got the, the salt and vinegar. Um, these are 2.625 ounces. <laughs> okay. These are the salt and vinegar, which I love salt and vinegar. And we just have a few, you know. Um, and then this one is the barbecue. So I bought those. So anyway, guys. That is all of my Dollar Tree haul for this one, and I'm fixing to do another one. So if you see me in this same outfit, you'll know that it's part two, but I'm not going to say it's part two. I'm just going to say it's a Dollar Tree haul. So anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you all on my next video. I um, appreciate you all so much, and God bless each and every one of y'all. Bye!